Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here back today. And today we're actually going to hop in a couple games and test out the new Dregs Promise. So with yesterday's patch with the early Rise of Iron update, they actually added a bunch of weapon balancing into the game. And the Dregs Promise was one of the guns to actually get a bit of a buff. So they've actually increased the damage of the Dregs Promise by 8% and they've also increased the magazine size by about 3 bullets. Now back before, when I, the last time I used Drake's Promise, I didn't really think it was all that bad. You just had to be really close up to people, and it was about a 4 burst kill. But now with this new Drake's Promise, it's actually quite nice. The effective range because of that damage buff is a bit better now, and it's only about a 3 burst kill in some situations. I definitely like this Drake's Promise a lot more, and there's a lot of new sidearms coming out with the Rise of Iron update, and I believe this one will actually be able to keep up with them now. Back before, before this last update yesterday, the Drake's Promise was okay, but you really had to try to use it. Like, you'd have to play very specifically, and you would actually always have to make sure that you were always get the one that get the first shot out. But now with this new Drake's Promise, it's actually pretty awesome. So long as you're just spamming that trigger, it's really accurate, and it's effective even at about mid-range. And there was a few situations where I was actually beating people that had last words with the Drake's Promise. Now the increased magazine size didn't make too much of a difference, but it does allow you to get one extra burst out, which can make the difference between you getting a kill and not getting a kill, just depending on the situation you're in. Now I wouldn't go ahead and use this thing in anything but about a small to medium range situation. Long range, it's not going to do anything, you're just going to get torn up by some other weapon. And even on bigger maps, like I'm on Exodus Blue right now, so this map is quite small, so you can usually get into some sort of mid range fight at any point in time on this map. But on the bigger maps, I wouldn't even really use it. Fortunately, it's still not good enough to like take people on on Frontier or anything like that. I wouldn't use it in any sort of situation like that. But in Trials of Osiris, I could actually see using this thing because a lot of, no matter what the map is, you do seem to find yourself in close range situations here and there. And like I said, this thing can actually beat out the last word now if you're close enough and it managed to get the shots out accurately. This thing can actually beat the last word. So long as you're getting those critical headshots, you should be able to compete now against last words. Now, you might not beat somebody that's like a pro at using last word, but you do stand a chance now, which is quite nice. Once you get the precision and accuracy down and you're able to get a lot of headshots, this thing is a hell of a lot of fun to use, and you will just tear through enemies. It doesn't fit up to the means of being a potato anymore, although it still definitely looks like one. It's no longer plays as a potato, and it can actually get quite a decent amount of kills. I think I got about 20 to 25 kills in this game with about 20 of them just being with the Dregs Promise, so this thing is actually quite good. And I feel like once I get used to it a little more, if I'm on a Titan, I can close those gaps a bit faster, and I can probably use this thing in more situations. So if you do have the Dregs Promise, I suggest you guys test this thing out. It's quite a bit of fun actually to use. If you've never used it before, you might have a slight bit of a learning curve with it, but overall this thing is actually pretty damn good now, and I kind of can't wait to use it a little bit more, especially on some of these new Rise of Iron maps coming in a few weeks. Now the one thing I could actually see this Drake's Promise being very good at is taking people out of their supers. Now you do have to be quite close to do that, so it could be quite dangerous if you're going up against a Storm Trance or Hammers or something like that. But I was able to take out Blade Dancers quite easily with this thing, so with a little more practice, I'm sure this thing could actually be quite good at taking people out of supers because they're always going to be rushing up on you, so you always know that they're going to be pretty close. Now it's not going to beat out a shotgun or anything like that in that regard, but it is still quite good. So be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed, and take out your Drake's Promise guys. You're probably won't regret it. It's just a whole lot of fun to use, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.